You've probably heard the song Mary Had a Little Lamb since you were very young, but did you know it was inspired by a true story? Let me tell you how it really happened. Mary Elizabeth Sawyer was born on a farm in Massachusetts in 1806. One cold morning when she was about nine or ten years old, she went out to the barn with her father. Mary and her father found that two lambs had been born during the night, but one of the lambs had been abandoned by its mother. The poor newborn lamb was very weak and sick from the cold and from lack of food, and Mary's father said it probably would not survive. Mary, however, still had hope, and she begged her father to let her nurse the little lamb back to health. When she finally convinced him, Mary took the lamb into the farmhouse and began her work. With her mother's help, she tried to get the lamb to eat. She wrapped the little creature in cloth and held it in her arms close to the fire to warm it up. All night, Mary worried about her new pet, but in the morning, the lamb was able to stand on his own. Soon he began drinking milk, and his health improved very quickly after that. Because Mary had been the one to save him, the little lamb became very attached to her. Whenever Mary called, the lamb would follow the girl wherever she went. Later in life, Mary recalled the day the lamb went to school with her. Mary and her brother Nat were on their way to the one-room schoolhouse they attended, but Mary hadn't seen her lamb yet that morning. She called to the lamb, who came running to greet her. Let's take the lamb to school, Nat suggested, and they did. Once they arrived at the school, Mary hid the lamb in a blanket under her desk. He stayed hidden until Mary had to walk to the front of the classroom to recite her lessons. Then, the lamb followed her as usual, right up to the teacher. The teacher laughed at seeing the lamb in school, but the little creature had caused such a commotion among the students that Mary had to put her pet outside. The lamb waited there for her until lunchtime, when Mary took him back home to the farm. According to what Mary remembered many years later, there was a young man at school that day named John Rulestone. He was a little bit older than Mary, and he was touched by how much love there was between Mary and her little lamb. The day after the lamb visited school, John gave Mary a poem he had written about her pet. This poem included the first three verses of the song that is now known by generations of children. Other verses were added later on, and the poem was set to music sometime in the 1830s. The lamb grew up like all little lambs do, but his love for and loyalty to Mary is now recognized all over the world. Find out why over a million parents have used goodandbeautifulbooklist.com to find clean, appropriate books. Check out the free book list now and dive into the world of good and beautiful literature.